Today, we're gonna give you guys the ultimate beginner guide to NBA Infinite. You will literally go from zero to 89 overall in one session. First things first, before you even get into the lobby, you have to pick your Team Infinite team. Personally speaking, I think Slam City is the no brainer. And the biggest reason for that is Paul George. Financially speaking, he is the most expensive card of all the cards here that is not a legendary. He goes for about 350K. Compared to every other epic in this list, he will get you the most bang for your buck. And he's an incredible player. He's a six foot eight shooting guard. You're gonna have a mismatch every time you match up with other shooting guard, except for Paul George. But this is for me, the no brainer. But if you want a second one, LeBron's actually probably the best of the three players here. He just cannot get blocked. Jason Tatum is my favorite legendary of the three. Sharpshooter, incredible. Bam is a good center, so LeBron James is good here. Curry, incredible shooter. Damian Lillard is probably the best shooter card in the game. And Brooke Lopez is the best budget center. So they're all really, really good. You can't go wrong with any of them. But in my opinion, the best bang for your buck would be the Slam City. Right after that, you're going to get into a game. This is basically going to be a bot lobby, a game to level you up. Let's actually take a look at the settings that you can change. So first things first, I like turning off the music, the commentary, and the voice chat. You can turn on the voice chat if you want to listen to your teammates play. But me as a streamer, I like turning it off in case people like to swear. Now you go to graphics. That's very important. Customize it based on how you want. But main thing you want to have is FPS at super. The lobby doesn't really matter, but the resolution, you can go low, high, whatever your device will allow it. Um, everything else is not really important. And as you scroll down, none of these are really, really important. The important part is you go to camera here and the focus. You can actually make it longer or shorter, right? To increase your field of view. Personally speaking, I think having it at the, the 50 mark is good and having the focus at 100 is perfect. Now you will hit the save button and you can continue on with your game. Next up, when you have the option to opening packs, you get to select your wish list. I recommend picking two of the three following players. Paul George should be your number one pick no matter what. And your second pick is going to be either Bam or LaMelo Ball. All the other players, Donovan Mitchell, Pascal Siakam, as well as Julius Randles, they only sell about 150K to 170K. Bam and Lonzo Ball, about the same price. Sorry, I called him Lonzo, but it's LaMelo Ball. About the same price, about 200, 210K, but very close to each other. So I did pull Paul George with our free packs, which is probably the best starting you can have, having a Paul George in the KD lineup. Now we're gonna give you guys a little quick tips and tricks in the gameplay as well. If you're playing a center here, you wanna jump ball. As soon as the timer hits that start, you wanna start spamming the jump button. And then on defense, this is very important. You want to have the person's line red at all time. That means if it's red, it's gonna be either moderate contested or heavily contested. This game is super affected by that. Now on offense, there's a few buttons you can press, all right? There's the crossover button, which you can do a multiple moves. And depending on the players, you'll have different moves. Usually when you hit the crossover button twice, you'll have an acceleration boost, and then that will help you go to the basket. Keep in mind, you do have a stamina bar on the bottom, and then keep in mind that there is a shot clock. There's a lot of moves you can use with these that you can take advantage of in the game. As you saw, I did a step back, but each player has their own ability and you have to learn them. And we'll talk about that in a second. Now on defense, you can see on the rebounds, when the ball is yellow, that's the optimal time to hit the rebound. You can see there's a rebound button and that is gonna help you a lot. Now, you can see we got the board there. I'm gonna show you guys how to block if we ever get to that point. Now on defense, you can hold the defense button and that's gonna auto lock onto the player that you have. Now, you can also take advantage of the dunk. You can see there's a little yellow arrow that pops up whenever you try to go for a dunk, and that means that your dunk is available. Here, you see the yellow arrow slightly popped up and we're able to do a dunk here with our player. Now, blocks are very, very easy to do. All you gotta do is kinda go close to the player, face them, and as soon as you see him jumping up, go for the block. So like I mentioned on defense, trying to get blocks is all about reading where your opponents are going, trying to help defense. You can see he looks like he wants to kind of drive to the basket. And then on rebound, you can see the yellow light was on top. So you are able to get the board from that. Now you want to give the ball here and then set a screen. Screening is so essential in this game. It's going to allow your teammates to move to the basket. So definitely use the screen button as much as you can. There's also the steal button, but I found unless you're a defensive specialist, such as Drew Holiday or Paul George, steals will not be good, especially for a center, because you'll see here. I'm going to try to go for a steal here. It's going to be uh, slow you down, and then you can try to go for a block here. Unfortunately, we're a little late, so make sure to kind of time it at the same time. 
this is a basketball game and also a team game so passing is super important you can either tap the button and it's going to throw the per ball to either the closest person next to you or the one you're facing you can also hold the pass button to choose who you want to pass it to so in this situation i'm going to pass it to clint capella and he's going to shoot it and hopefully we will get the basket but no shot clock violation and again on defense like i've said you want to hold the defense button until they try to cross you up when they cross you up you want to let go and try to follow because there's an animation that happens whenever someone crosses you up that they might get dizzy and if they're dizzy you're not going to be able to move and that really happens more often when you hit the defense button but in situations like this i'm going to try to cross them up but i don't have that ability so we're going to go ahead and hit the little mid-range here so at level three you might be tempted to hold some of your players but in this game gold is important so you guys see i have a kevin durant i'm going to keep kevin durant because he's going to be the player that i want to use the most but we also have paul george as you guys can see he is selling for 300 350 thousand coins now this is a sweet spot you need to find a price that is not too high where it's not going to sell or not too low where you're missing out on profits and this is where it comes through if you click the price you can see price is better than 85 percent of the user i like going 85 percent personally speaking however if you want to make sure it sells i like going down sometimes to 99 percent. 350 is that average you hit the sell we are going to be able to sell them and you're going to be able to collect after the, I guess, the taxes or the fees, about 300K. And while we are at the auction house, let's give you guys a few tips and tricks on the auction house and how to buy and sell. So whenever you want to buy a player, you just click on them, you buy it, right? But if they're ever sold out, you can pre-order a player. Pre-order basically means you are paying in advance and you will get the player whenever it goes in the auction house for that price. If someone has a higher pre-order price, they will get it first. But if you put something for about, let's say 3 million and something sells for 2.5 million, you will get the 500K back. You will not lose that money. So that is a very cool feature so that if you want to build a player, for example, DeMar DeRozan's here on the market, I don't have the money right now, but you can see I can go ahead and set it up for like 345 and someone puts it for 300, you'll get the money back. And this is a good way to kind of get the player you want to get. Another cool thing about the market is the watch list. You can see there's players here and on the right side, there is a heart button. If you press the heart button on these players, you can actually just go to my watch list and you can see whenever these players will go up if they're available. While we're still in the marketplace, this is actually the best place to take a look at players and comparing them to other players. If you take a look here on the right side, there is that double square. If you click on that double square, you'll be able to pick the player that you're currently looking at and click any other player and compare them. Look at this beautiful page. We're comparing John Morant to the wonderful Lonzo Ball. And the coolest part is you can actually look at their stats maxed out. Look, 90 overall versus 93 overall. You look at the prices, how many in stock. You look at their heights, their skills, their attributes. This is going to be pivotal to selecting which player you want to use because this game is so in depth when it comes to players even though the stats are similar because of the badges because of their ability they can play so different and even their shot meters are different that you won't be able to tell the best example brooke lopez has an incredible three but his shot meter is so small because he's a center compared to other shooting centers it's just very very useful to have this page here and just like that we sold the paul george instantly for 350k so next up make sure to claim all the red dots you see all these red dots on the screen it's not just for pretty artwork it is the main reason you're going to get free stuff we go to team infinite here we're going to claim this we got our kevin durant we get some advanced skill manuals we go to star trial we claim this we'll eventually get some free packs you also go to your events you can see free stuff happening every single day pro traders new login gift everything make sure to claim everything that you can because this is gonna help you out it's gonna give you a lot of free stuff here and just like that we got some diamonds now while we are in the event page this is probably the best thing you can do while it's still available i don't know if this video is going to be out while this is still available we have this survey the survey here will give you 150,000 gems. Hoping that they'll extend this. Maybe there'll be more surveys coming out. I don't know. But while I'm recording this video, this survey is still out. Make sure to do these because these are going to be very helpful in the early game. And I know they do actually bring out more surveys because I did one on my main account that gave me 300 diamonds. But make sure to claim these. While we're still in the event tabs, NBA Infinite actually gives a lot of coupon codes or little codes that gives you free stuff in the game. Whenever those coupon codes will come out, go to the CD key redeem, click on that and redeem those codes. So as I'm recording this video, the code is upgrade roster. 
And as I'm recording this video, this will give you three tickets. Make sure to do your daily missions. They're gonna give you a hundred diamonds every single day. Also weekly missions are gonna give you a second battle pass, which will give you gold as well as diamonds in the long run. Don't forget to take a look at your mailbox. This will have a whole bunch of cool free stuff, especially early on. You might even get some hot fix compensation. Make sure to check that every single day. You'll see right now we're gonna claim all this and we're gonna get a bunch of cool stuff, which we will open right now. Like I mentioned, this is early on with the pre-register stuff. You can see we did get a RJ Barrett as well as the Aaron Fox. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything great, but we got a legendary coach. That is crazy. Legendary coach is always nice, but the Aaron Fox is cool. But these packs actually had a chance to get Carlton Towns, and if you get Carlton Towns, you are golden. Next up, let's take a look at the hoop draft. This is basically the pack opening. So there is going to be four choices here. There's going to be two of the regular tickets, which is the cover classic as well as the team infinite. And then we have the in quotation mark premium, which will be the game changer as well as the star studded. When it comes to opening packs for the regular, I recommend doing the cover classics. The reason behind that is that there is a Carl Anthony Towns. He is by far the best center for epic characters in the game right now. Matter of fact, if you pick the wish list, I would pick Carl Anthony Towns and your second pick can be anybody you want, but John Morant, Zions, and Rudy Gobert are the most expensive of these players. For Team Infinite, this is basically the player that you would get from the Infinite pack that you unlocked earlier. Wish list again, same thing. I recommend Paul George and Bam, but you can also go with Lamelo. So next up, we have Game Changer. Game Changer is this limited time pack that usually stays for maybe a month or so. Gives you a limited time to get Yanis, which is an incredible card. He's probably one of the most expensive available on the auction house. And gives you a limited pool of players. If you take a look at details, you have a chance of getting Yanis, Lillard, Jason Tatum, MB, and some epics that are specifically for this. So it does have, you know, Drew Holiday, Zion Williamson, John Morant. Those two are very expensive. You have De'Aaron Fox, uh, Donovan Mitchell, Drew Estrano, and then a bunch of other epics. You can see the list of players here. I personally am not a fan of this one. If you are trying to pull for Yanis, sure, go ahead. But I am not a huge fan of this one because, in my opinion, the epics, there's only two good ones. The other ones are okay. Some of them are underrated. But you can't get any of the other players that you can get from the NBA Infinite. Next up is Star Studded. Now, this is the one that has all the legendaries. If you take a look at this, you can see Joel Embiid, Jason Tatum, Damian Lillard, Steph Curry, LeBron James, Yanis, Jokic. If you want a chance to get any of these crazy legendaries as well as all these other epics... This is the pack for you. And this is the one that you can get a bunch of free tickets for. And there is a wish list. I'm hoping that they switch these wish lists because, yes, these players are really cool, but their price very low compared to the other legendaries. So I personally would not click on any of these to get the wish list. If you want to use them, go ahead. But it's a lot easier to get them off the auction now. I'd much rather get the other legendaries and sell them to get these players. Now, speaking of pulls, let's say you have nine tickets. If you have nine tickets, you can do the nine draws right off the bat. But if you have anything lower, I recommend saving them. Do not spend them one at a time because you get an advantage for pulling them at nine at a time. And remember, there is the pity system. Every 10 pull, you get an epic. Every 30 pull, you get a legendary. Team Infinite, same thing. Every 20 pulls, you get an epic. No chance of getting any legendaries in here. So you want to make sure to spend those. You can get them early, but make sure to save your tickets. Speaking of saving tickets, you might be tempted to spend all your gems and all your tickets right now to do these open. But I would recommend holding off unless you really want to open a few players in the beginning of the game, like the free ones you get for the star studded. But I recommend holding off and I'll explain why. The reason why you want to hold off is that they release a lot of events. I'm not even kidding. Like almost every day there's a new event that gives you benefits for opening packs. So if you take a look at this one here, we have the Game Changer Rebate. This one is if you spend Game Changer packs, you will get game changer packs back as well as a covered classic one even better here you have to cover classic one if you spend five covered classic tickets you get one ticket so essentially if you're gonna open packs you get free packs so why would you spend them right away if you get in the future get these bonuses so i recommend saving them but i understand if you want to open some packs all right let's go take a look at player cards so you see right here we have kevin durant when you click on the player it's going to expand to show you all the cards you have the far left one the one that's available is the main one that you've been using the one that's upgraded now if you want to rank up players you can see at level one or r1 players will rank up requiring one however as you rank up higher you require more players so to rank up durant from 76 to 78 you need 176 to rank him up from 78 to 80 you need two 76s and it doubles every single time so in situations like that, I have a 78 overall that I can put into the rat, which is 276s, and bang, you will increase it. However, if you had a 76, you can still try to upgrade it, but it's at a lower chance. You can see it was 100% chance.
chance rate. But if I only had one, it would have been like 60%, no, 40%. So that would have been really tough. And while we are here, let's take a look at the player's abilities. You can see exclusive is his exclusive ability that's always going to be active. Dominance is an ability that's going to be used in game while you're playing. It's going to be activated as you play the game and shoot and get rebound and stuff like that. Next, we have skills. There's two types of skills. There's going to be the score skills and the active skills. So moves are basically skills that you can use while playing. So you double pump and layup. As you're going for a layup, you can actually make a double pump. So you can do like up and under and stuff like that. Pro dunker is like a skill, a pass ability that actives as you're playing the game regularly. There's going to be a whole bunch of them that is going to be finishing, shooting, off ball, dribbling, passing, and back to defense. Now you can actually level these up for you can see mid range pull up, hit the upgrade button. This will use these purple upgrade cards. So these purple upgrade cards will be used to level up these skills early on. They won't cost much, but they will add up as you have more and more players. And you can level whatever you feel like using. In my opinion, all the shooting ones are really good. And some defensive badges are not that useful or box out badges, not that useful, but that's how you upgrade these skills. And if you just want to try to player, don't be afraid of using your skill points because you will get 80% of those skill points when you sell them on the auction house. At level four, you're going to unlock rank mode. Rank mode is going to be the game mode that most people will want to play to rank up. Not only that, rank mode will give you a lot of rewards that includes gold as well as diamonds. So you definitely want to be grinding this out. So rank mode is actually different from the other modes. It is a three minute game where you have non-stop play and whoever has the most point at the end of it will have the win. You can see on the screen that on the floor, there's like these red and orange zones. Those red and orange zones are basically your hotspots. You can actually go ahead and turn those on or off depending on who you are. Now, if you go to your settings, you click this right here. So under basic, after you go through all this, there's going to be auto defense and uh, heat map switch. Heat map switch is what I was talking about. That's how you get your hot zone. We also have auto defense. Auto defense is good depending on the type of player you are. Auto defense is basically when you hit the defense button, it's going to automatically follow the player. I personally like turning this off because I like being able to follow the players normally, but you can go ahead and do whatever you want. And we have dynasty mode, which we'll talk about that a little bit later. Keep in mind, if you're an MVP, you will get more points and that will help you out for ranking up faster to get more of those diamonds. And now that you're level five, you're going to unlock the store. And this is where the fun begins. You also get this pop up if you want to. I think it's definitely worth it for a dollar. You get a legendary after three days. So if you want to buy, I 100% recommend this right here. NBA store. This is where you're going to be spending most of your diamonds, if not all. Talking about value wise, while this is still available and you still have the diamond, we have this top epic draft. All these players are going for high amounts. Most notably, Kyrie Irving and Jimmy Buckets. I personally would buy Kyrie and sell them right off the bat for the diamonds that you have. But the main thing that's going to be very useful for us is right here. This ticket section. You will have diamonds to spend on these tickets. Cover Classics or Team Infinite. Like I mentioned, the other pack is 1500 compared to the Cover Classic. You can buy 30 tickets or you can get that guaranteed epic that's going for 500000 Yes, the cover classic, you potentially get cats and you can also get the, you know, those extra free tickets, but it really depends up to you. I personally would get the Kyrie. However, in situations like this, where you can get a lot of free cover classic tickets, I recommend doing the cover classic for today because you have the option of getting those free tickets. So you can see cover classic right here. We can get, look, potentially get John Morant or Carl Towns. So we're going to hit the draw nine and hopefully get something good here. First, Epic. If we get Carnegie Towns, it's going to be worth it. Even John Moran might be worth it here. Let's see what we get here. The problem is that the other non-epics non are not really worth it. But if we get a cat, we are golden. Carnegie Towns in the bag. You'll love to see it. And then the best part about this is if you go to your events, you will see. You will have also the cover classic rebate. You can see it right there. Bang. Easy breezy. And right here we have a cat going for 420,000 gold. We are going to sell them. You can see right here, there's like none in the auction. So in this situation, we're going to max them out. Some for 480 right in the bag. And look, Carnthy down instantly sold for 480. We just started and we basically have a million gold. Isn't that crazy? Now you still have a little bit of diamonds. Again, like I mentioned, you do your choice. You want to buy that pack? You can. If not, you spend it on the cover classic. As you can see, there's no currency down, no drama rant. So I decided we're going to go spend all our diamonds onto the cover classic. First round, nothing's going to be good here. We'll do nine more here. Hopefully, we'll get another cat or a Jamarant. 
or even a Rudy Gobert would be pretty good. We're gonna hit the skip button here. Maybe get a double and we are gonna get a Drew Holiday. Dang, not really the player we wanted to get here. Gonna skip this right now. Unfortunate, let's go ahead and go back and pick up the free tickets that we're gonna get from opening these as well. Cover classics guaranteed. And we just need to open four more to get three more tickets. You guys will see Hoop Draft, Team Infinite as well available, but let's draw these nines and guarantee us a epic, hopefully a cat or a John ja Morant. And that will be huge. Hit the skip button here. And we got another cat. Wow, incredible for the price of what we could have spent to get all those. And again, I mentioned this because of the cover classic event going on right now. You can do this because you're gonna get so many free tickets. And then again, selling him for 480. We'll sell the Drew Holiday as well. There's a whole bunch of Drew Holiday, so we're probably gonna hold off on selling him. We'll see if we can get him off 162. But just like that, 1.3 million. You can pick up any legendary you want. So you definitely gotta do that. Now at level six, you unlock the rank dynasty. That's essentially the five on five game mode. I personally don't play it a lot. I don't think it's as good as a game mode, but it is great for grinding specifically the battle pass. You can see you can claim a lot of free stuff, especially if you feel like upgrading it. You can see right here, challenges. Score 30 points in any game, mode. complete five games, rebounds. All these right here, you will get a lot of XP just from playing the Dynasty game mode. And finally, I wanna show you guys the training camp or the training area, the practice area. The practice area is probably gonna be the place that you should spend a lot of your free time if you're just trying to practice player. Like I mentioned earlier, different players have different abilities and different ability means these players are different. So we have also the training camp, which if you want to do, I recommend doing it because you'll get 150 diamonds. They're very fast, very easy. But for this video's sake, I will not do them. The practice mode, very important to keep the practice. So when you're in the practice mode, this page right here is gonna show you everything your player can do. Shooting, you can see, drifting shot, fade away, double pump, layup. Look, as you can see right here, look, he's got the double pump. It shows you how to do it and you can practice it to get the double pump. You can also change the skills and you can see the other abilities you have. No more layup, fade away but you can practice exclusive shot. You can see the exclusive shot takes exactly what it is. Drag this joystick away to fade away. So he has a unique fade away style. So if you go ahead and practice it, you can go ahead and drag it back and hit the fade away shot, boom. Good practice. And again, the best part for this is to practice the crossover. So you can take a look at the dribbles. You can see it's very important because some players have some crazy dribbles. You can see right here, he's got the step back. You can practice if you want, right? Hit the button here drag forward and hit the step back and then step back again, right? All this can be practiced, especially players like Kyrie who have crazy players. So make sure you spend a lot of time in this area here. While we're at it, why not just open some star setting? And we're gonna get an epic. Let's see what epic we get here today. We are gonna get a Ja Morant. Another tip and trick in the marketplace, if you ever pull a Curry or if you pull a LeBron James, they're selling for 80K, but if you sell them for 90K, they will most likely sell because there's always none in the market. I would recommend selling them if you're not planning on building them. Some of them are great, but I find that there's a lot of better players that are higher ranked, and that's easy amount of money that you can use. We have Kevin Durant that we're gonna use for this situation, but there's so many players here. And you can see here, look at our trades here. We got John Morant, Indian, Paul George. We have so many players that can sell. All right, after all said and done, 2.2 million closer to 2.4 million after we sell this holiday man with that the amount of budget beats you can get or players you want in general will be insane you can get julius Randle 87 overall for 2.4 million or you can go De'Aaron fox you can go drew holiday you can go laurie marketing all those are available to you and if you want to go budget piece, let me tell you about some budget piece here. You can go with Andrew Wiggins. You can go with Brooke Lopez, DeAndre Russell, all these budget beast players. You can have a stack squad. Look, if I want to max out Brooke Lopez, it's going to cost me 1.6 million. You're still going to have some change. Same thing for this player here. If you want to get a 89 overall maxed out player, Bogdan Bodanovich, he will cost you what? A close to 2 million? 2 million and you'll get a maxed out. 89 overall for free you know what let's go ahead and get him let's go with this 89 bogdanovich he is a shooting goat let's upgrade him and just like that 
89 overall Bogdanovich all in one sitting wow incredible look at his stats 849 for 2 million we'll be able to use this player for a while and then sell them afterwards when we want to get a new player incredible anyway that's going to be the ultimate beginner guide to nba infinite hopefully this video helped you guys out let me know if i missed any tips or tricks and we'll do a second videos on those but i hope you guys enjoy bye